Okay. Okay, so today I am headed to the city of Edmonton. Now, I do a lot of photo shoots and it's fun. I love it. But I like getting paid. And when someone offers me money to do a photo shoot of something I love, I'm in. Hey guys. What's going on? You want some candy? Yeah? What would you like? Now, we don't have a lot, but we have some. Mm. Okay. What, would you like to climb up here and look in this bucket? One of those? All right. You can get your candy. That's fine. I'm going to keep talking to the camera. Now, going to Edmonton, like I mentioned. Also, I think it's a little bit snowy outside, but we'll make do. This evening, I also have something very cool. And so, let's see how this goes. But I'm going to bring this along and try to capture as much as I can. And we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I hate when I bump the table that it makes my sh camera shake. But what can you do? It's a gray day here in Edmonton. Typical for this time of year. Although it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. Which is weird. Okay, here we are. Oh, wrong hand. There's Robin. This is what Robin does for her job. Yeah, this is my real job. <laughs> she sets tables for rich people. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm making a table set. So essentially this is like how to design a perfect table for a Christmas workshop that I'm doing. So I, I'm an event planner by trade, so I set tables <laughs> for a living. I went to school for it and everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna photograph this thing that you did. That's, That's my trade. I seriously My eldest son plays sports. He's almost 12 now. He was playing a game last week and came home really disappointed because they lost, which I don't really have a problem with if you're disappointed that you lose. But he said something that I had to talk about. When things don't go our way, what's our response? You see, I really think it's okay if we're disappointed that, that things don't work out. It's disappointing. We want things to work out because we put effort into it. We value our time, we value what we do. And if it doesn't work out the way we planned, it gives opportunity for being upset. You see, my son came home from his game and he was upset and they lost. And they've lost before, so he's been able to deal with it in the past, but this time he said something different. He said, Dad, if there wasn't these other people on my team, we would have done better. I had to stop him right there because if I had let him keep going with that thought, it would have been one of the greatest crimes I could have committed against him for his future. Imagine if I let him keep going with that thought. The next time he did poor at something, the next time he didn't pass a test or got reprimanded at a job. Instantly, his mind would go to, it must be someone else's fault. How could it possibly be mine? Think about that if right now you're in school and you take a test and you don't do well at the test. Who's the first person you blame? Is it the teacher for not teaching you the right way? Do you blame the managers at work because they're not managing well enough? I would wager to say that a lot of us do that a lot of the time. In fact, I was horribly guilty of doing that many times. I'd always point the finger at someone else. I didn't want to take any ownership of my mistake. And let me tell you, if you can't take ownership of your mistakes, you're gonna have a long, hard road ahead of you. Okay, here's me and Robin. Well, there's Robin, I'm not there. We're in like a really cool, really <laughs> cool space. Robin. I'm Brittany. They're all bloggers. 
I'm not sure why me and Tim are here. I'm an Instagram <laughs> husband. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see you guys later. <laughs> it's really quite funny because as I look back at my life, I realize how much I refuse to take ownership of my stuff. I remember one time in grade eight. Now, if any of my teachers are watching from grade eight, I'm gonna get in trouble. There's this huge project due. I never did it. The day it was due, they were supposed to all get put up on this wall the teacher was looking for mine and said, hey, I can't find your project, where is it? And I said, well, I thought it was right here. And they're like, okay, come show us where you put it. And I went down there, I went down to the wall, and I said, oh, it was right here. And fortunately for me, there was a blank space. I said, I think I put it right here. Well, they, of course, asked, why would someone take it down? What's going on? And now there was a guy that was a grade or two older than me, and he wasn't that nice to me. And so I came up with this great idea to blame him. He must not like me. He must have ripped it down to try to get me in trouble. And so I totally blamed it on someone else. I didn't take ownership that I just didn't do it. And I got away with it too, which didn't help me in the future. I can tell you that much. Here's the thing. Every time we don't take responsibility for what we could have done, we're lying, not only to the people we're talking to, but to ourselves as well. When I was in grade eight, 13 years old, I thought that I could just get away with this stuff. What was the big deal? And it went on and on, even as I had work later on in life. If something went wrong, I just blamed someone else. It was a path that I was headed down. It wasn't a good one. Initially, we don't take ownership of our actions because we're trying to protect ourselves. We're trying to preserve something that we think is there. Even from a little kid's age, do something bad, I don't wanna get in trouble. I'll lie, I'll say it was my brother. I'll blame it on someone else so that I don't get in trouble. And as humans, it's in our very nature to try to protect ourselves. And so I understand why it happens. All right, so that was a fun evening down at the old uh, restaurant there. It was a good event. And uh, I just met up with my other friends. I'm waving at them right now. Let's go see what they're doing. Hey, dear. We're vlogging this whole experience. I'm not talking. <laughs> you don't have to talk. <laughs> Friends are great. Well, we had a fun night down on White Ave in Edmonton, the city of Edmonton. Right, Jer? Oh, it was a good night. Mm hmm. Drank very little. Yeah, we're responsible. Very responsible. <laughs> and now we're driving home. Now we're gonna go home. <laughs> we should always be trying to improve ourselves. I know that the popular kind of choice right now is just be happy with who you are and don't let anybody tell you what to do. It's just, it's just too far one direction. We have to change. But where does that start? Do we blame government? Do we blame people around us? Do we blame authorities like the police? Do we blame those people for it not going the right way? Maybe we should start looking at ourselves. What if we all were to change? Well, then anyone that got a job after that and became an authority after that would have already gone through the process of changing. Expecting things to change without us changing ourselves is ludicrous. It just won't happen. Fortunately now, I'm actually to a place where I'm more confident. I can admit that I'm wrong. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. There's still times I wanna preserve something in me. But being aware of what's possible when we actually take ownership of our actions, the reward of it, the freedom of it, is far greater. And that's what I wanna live like. We need to change. It's the only way other things are going to change. Change comes by me changing.